What's going on? <laughs> the greater AMC community. All right, give me two seconds. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna talk about this whole cost to borrow thing, AMC no shares available, what City said, and at the end of the day, the coming merger, dilution, whatever. It, it's kind of interesting because here's the deal. As I'm winding down my night, I start to think to myself like, maybe they're not looking at what I'm looking at, but I'll tell you what I'm looking at now so you can laugh over the next couple of days how a high cost to borrow and a certain event that's happening in a courtroom can trigger the price to go up and up and up. All right, let me put it this way. We all know about the lawsuit, right? The lawsuit, uh, April 27, the judge is gonna make a decision, right? Well, with that decision, that's how AMC and Ape can get their, you know, merger, dilution, yada, 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 whatever. But here's the thing people are not looking at. Before that decision, those two parties, AMC and the other side, Allegheny, they have to go into discovery. They have to go into back and forth. They got to go through a lot of things that show the judge why AMC should have never um, diluted the shareholder vote and the whole nonsense. You know, back and forth, the creation of API was also, you know, whatever. But Allegheny is going to have a chance to do all that and AMC is going to have to speak, whatever. But there's certain blow for blows because all that information is public. When it comes out, there's certain things that are going to trigger the price to go up. Just like when AMC first got hit with the news of the lawsuit, the stock went up. So I think people need to understand something. You might have a couple of events during discovery that bump up the stock during already the high cost to borrow, which is already ugly that nobody wants to pay. Remember, the people that are shorting AMC right now thought this will all be over by now with eight. Then this lawsuit came and pushed everything forward. So at the end of the day, they have to go through this bumps and bruises. I mean, let's face it, discovery, that's just how it is. I mean, you get to find out things that you thought were a certain way, and then you get to you know, ask those questions, and it all depends on how they're gonna do their discovery, but that's just how it is. And certain information is gonna come out, and it's gonna make the stock obviously have certain effects, okay? Now, the good thing about it is that since the cost of borrowing AMC is unbelievable, any good news that comes out of it that tends to sway the, the market's opinion, like, holy fuck, it may be possible that they may not get this merger, then that's where it gets ugly. Because the other side is counting on this merger to dilute AMC and, a and you know, merge and whatever, in order for them to avoid having to pay this ridiculous cost to borrow. This ain't cheap, this shit is a lot of money, and especially in a world where nobody's lending money, um, yeah, it's ugly. So I'm looking forward to the the meat and potatoes of a lawsuit, which is discovery, because that's where you get to, that's where you get to find out certain things, and at the end, that beefs up the case, and that's what the judge looks at. Those letters are great, but those, those, um, those discovery um, events, plus those letters, we might get lucky in a high cost to borrow environment, so, giant love, I'm gonna, Enjoy my cigars for tonight. I'm gonna wind down everything. It's been a long day. They did some shit on my ear today. I was like, please, no more. <laughs> no mas. But at the end of the day, <laughs> listen, this is how it is. I gotta take care of this one, and then eventually I gotta take care of that one. So until then, giant love, and I'll see everybody tomorrow. We'll always be around.